Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. The police have released a list of Jamaica's 80 most wanted men who they believe are actively contributing to Jamaica's crime problem. At the same time, the police say there are more than 200 wanted persons across Jamaica's 19 police divisions. And amid a 19% increase in murders since January, Deputy Commissioner of Police Fitz Bailey says arming more Jamaicans could further complicate an already troubling crime wave. DCP Bailey said while the decision on whether more citizens should have access to licensed firearms is for policymakers, he is not certain that the current crime trajectory will change with more guns in the hands of law-abiding Jamaicans. The National Commercial Bank, NCB, has indicated that it will not reverse its decision to increase fees despite protests from customers and a caution from the government. The government has insisted that the banking sector's disregard for fiscal realities on the ground may hurt the economy. Fifteen persons from Nago Head in Portmore St. Catherine are now searching for a home after their dwelling was burned to the ground in a suspected arson attack. Homeowner Colette Williams, who is 56, said she believed the house was set ablaze amid spiraling violence that has seen several persons killed and homes torched in recent months. In sports, Jamaica's reggae boys are entering this evening's massive qualifier against Mexico at the National Stadium in Kingston, determined to secure the maximum three points. The match is scheduled to start at 7 p.m. In your currency trading to date was costing $156.89 for one U.S. dollar, the British pound sterling for $213.28, and the Canadian dollar for $130.11. In your weather forecast, Friday morning will see isolated showers across hilly areas and sections of northern parishes. The afternoon will become cloudy, with showers mainly across central and western parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.